Hi, this is Amanda Martin with Grounded Solutions and for the Florida Native Plant Society I'm just looking at a spring maintenance job for a client here in College Park. We are looking at seeds coming in with the Elephantopus elatus. We're going to do a remulching. We're going to trim back the Elliot's Love Grass and look at possibly replacing them with something that doesn't get quite so much thatch in it. We've got wild coffee springing up and blooming for the pollinators. Some new Gallardia underneath the cypress tree. We planted some new muley grass along the street where the Elliot's love grass did not take quite so well. We've got a beautiful hedge of Simpson stopper. And we're just going to kind of walk around. You can see Adrian there. It's a lovely view. Chickasaw plum tree there off the porch. So we got the paver stones put in, little mulch narrow walkway. We're going to remulch here. We've got salvia micella. We're going to trim that back. It's got a little Garden Eden vibe that'll return. Um, some kunti and firebush. And we've got it taking over a ground cover of frog fruit. Here we're going to plant a little bit more some silphiums and sage lantana bring a little bit of height around the rain collection when it rains we get a lot of water so we dug a little collection pit and filled it in with rocks he has a nice little hammock he enjoys sitting on and we've got simpson stoppers chickasaw plum yo ponds back there some senna's that just came out of bloom a little rock basin for birds to enjoy the rainfall. I'm going to relocate one of these saw palmettos, but underneath the pergola here we've got a line of saw palmettos and some cypress trees along the border instead of uh, bamboo or something. Underneath the shade of this where we get quite a bit of water runoff, we've got Stokes Aster here in full bloom. A lot of people want to know what Stokes Aster are, and they're gorgeous purple flowers. Lovely for any uh, damp environment that gets a lot of shade. We did do an honorary planting underneath this tall cypress tree of one of his um, Labradors. Created another rain collection garden. And then in the side yard, we've got the salvia that's gonna take over. Just needs a little bit more time. We were still under construction when we planted. And we have a collection of Simpson stoppers, rouge plant, some bright red berries, colors for birds. My hands are a little dirty, but when you crush the rouge, it adds a nice little orange color that I enjoy um, teaching kids how to crush and do some finger painting with. The color lasts for about an hour. And I believe we have some scorpion's tail down here. So basically these plantings here on this side gave a view for the guest window. And this is not a very utilized side yard, so we wanted something that was going to be high, high shade, provide some color and something to look at from the two guest bedroom windows. So. I uh, hope you enjoyed walking around with us and uh, let us know if you are looking for any suggestions. Florida Native Plant Society is there to help facilitate. We've got a meeting the first Tuesday of every month at Lou Gardens once we're not under quarantine. And uh, we'll be happy to help you out. Have a good day.